Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Basement is here and huge shout out to Tempano Audio for sponsoring the channel and uh, helping me make these types of videos. And uh, yeah, so like I said in my previous video with the Tempano TPC 3500 uh, watt, watt uh, subwoofer, I'll put, pop up the video up on the screen right now. I told y'all that I would do a lot more Tempano Audio stuff and uh, today is no different. In today's video, we will be doing We'll be reviewing the Timpano TBT 25, T2500 10-inch subwoofer. This is going to be the 2-ohm version, guys, and it is going to be 2,000 watts max and 1,000 watts RMS. So let's take a look at the box. Hey, guys, if you want to help the channel out, the affiliate links will be down in the description for Redoto Power, Power Queen, Slops Audio, Sermon Vega, and Big Jeff Audio. Go down in the description, and you can go look at the code uh, for 5% off on your order. All right, back to video. All right, guys, so twist the box over. We have the overall diameter of 11.02 inches. We got the mounting depth, which is seven inches. We got the baffle cutout, which is gonna be 9.37 inches. Like I said in my other video, guys, this is super nice to see that subwoofer companies actually post these, um, these diameters and these uh, numbers on the box so you know what type of box you need and if you want to make it or have to buy it you can make sure that it actually fits the subwoofer. Alrighty guys twisting it over here the excursion slash x max on the sub is 23.5 millimeters and that is going to be 1.85 inches peak to peak. Guys I do have a uh, I do have two TPT 2500s 12 inches in the in the car and let me tell you those things get down low and I will I just have to assume this thing will also get down low like those. All right, let's whistle over one more time. And uh, yeah, this is what I like to see. So basically in the TPT 2500 series, they all have USA made voice coils. And in this one, in all the series for the uh, 2500, they all, they all have the same voice coil, which is gonna be a three inch um, black copper clad aluminum four layer coil. And that thing has been taking a lot of heat in my car. I run it on a 8K and I, I mean, it, it pushes those things pretty tough but it does extremely well and i'm sure this thing will also do well in this video i will also be pushing it to the rms rating see how long it will last rms wise music breaking it in anything you can think about i'm gonna do it in this video because this is going to be a full review on this subwoofer all right guys without further ado let's just take it out of the box Alrighty, guys, taking it out of the box here and look at this 10 inch beautiful Tempano subwoofer. So we have a plastic uh, dust cap. We have a pretty beefy surround right here, which I really like to see. Paper cone stitched into the cone. And uh, yeah, let's look at this basket. The basket, I'm actually not too sure what type of basket this is, but like on the TT, TPT 2512, it is very, very nice. It has, this basket goes on the 12 and the 15. They're gonna be obviously different sizes, but I'd really do like to see that. Alrighty guys, so let's look at these tinsel leads. So the tinsel lead is one tinsel lead per coil, but these tinsel leads are actually pretty thick. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Uh, so we'll get, get a lot of power from the amplifier and from the wire. And uh, guys, this terminal, these terminals are huge. Let me see how much, how many gauge wire this can fit. Alrighty guys, I got some SCAR, four gauge SCAR wire, and let's see if it'll fit into the terminal. As you can see, the four gauge literally fits perfectly. This is incredible to see on a 10 inch subwoofer. Guys, this, I really do like to see this. Tempano, great job on this. I know you do really well for these terminals on the 12, 15, and your higher series, so great job. The magnet slash motor, I'm actually not too sure about the size, but for this 10 inch sub, it's really, really beefy for this sub. I mean, it takes up basically almost half the actual subwoofer, and uh, I really do like to see that. Flipping it over here, we have the Tempano logo right here. We have some cooling for the voice coil and for the motor itself, which is really nice to see because these motors do get really hot when you push them for a long period of time. Like when I'm breaking up in a sub and I have to push it for a uh, like a long period of time, I come back and, the, and this motor is literally hot to the touch. So it's really nice to see that there is some type of cooling on this motor. 
Alrighty guys, that's basically a uh, little breakdown of the 10 inch subwoofer. From, so now let's go break it in and see what it sounds like in a box. Alrighty guys, so we got the Timpano TPT2500 10 inch subwoofer hooked to the box. Guys, this is a prefab um, box and I got my rag right there when I play some bass. It'll, it'll, the air will push it. Got my SMD down there, if you can see that. And I also have a GoPro doing this. This is gonna be a new camera, guys. So let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. So we're gonna do some uh, music tests and then we're gonna do some test tones and then let's see how much this thing can handle RMS wise. Let's get it. All right, guys, that was a little bit of a music demo for the TPT 2500 10-inch. Guys, this thing sounds really, really nice. It hits the lows really well. And as you can see on the SMD, we are pushing quite a bit of watts through this low guy. Um, let's get to the RMS test and see how long this thing can last. I'm aiming for three minutes. Let's see if it get, get through three minutes. All right, guys, let's start the timer and get this thing up to 1200 watts. All right, guys, that's, we got the two minutes. Two minutes and it started to smoke up. So let's get this thing on 20 hertz and look at that. Let's cool this thing off. All right, guys, we were pushing it at 1,200 watts for a long, long time. It, this day, this sub is rated for 1,000 watts. Since it had the 3-inch coil, I thought it could handle 1,200 watts. But it only got to 2 minutes on 1,200 watts, which not not horrible. I, I feel like if, if it was pushing the actual 1,000 watts, it would have gotten the three minutes, no problem. Guys, if you like this video and you like this type of content, I try to keep it real on this channel. This thing is a pretty beefy sub. It didn't last the whole three minutes on 1,200 watts, but this thing really, really sounds well. Now, if you wanna go check out a sub that did last, five minutes which is crazy the big brother to this sub the 12 inch version actually lasted five minutes on its rms power it was pretty crazy uh go check that out it'll be in 
it'll be in the uh, at the end of this video there is a playlist you can tap on the playlist and it'll be one of those videos all right guys if you like this channel like this content like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace Gee, wake up. All along, I've been all along.